61A, lecture number 33. Announcements. The scheme project is due on Wednesday. If you complete it tomorrow, you get an early submission bonus point. Homework 9 is due on Thursday. You can order a CS61A t-shirt, but you have to do it by Wednesday. See Piazza for details. Thanksgiving week, which is next week, will have no live events, no live lab or office hours. Instead, we'll publish a take-home optional lab that I do recommend you complete, but you don't have to complete it. It's just for your own interest. Next Monday, we'll have a video-only lecture because I'll be out of town, and I know many students are traveling as well. One thing you can do over Thanksgiving week is work on an entry for the Scheme Recursive Art Contest, which is totally optional, but it's kind of fun. Want to see some past winning entries? Let's take a look. The Scheme Recursive Art Contest has been running since 2012, and in 2012, this was the winner. In 2013, this was the winner. The 2013 entry uses a technique called ray tracing, which lets you generate 3D shapes, especially spheres, in a small amount of code. Here's the fall 2015 winner. Since then, we don't allow images anymore, but we did back then. 2016 had a winner for the featherweight division and the heavyweight division. Again, this uses ray tracing, but this time included some fractals. And the things that students try to draw have become more and more ambitious over time. But remember, this contest is won by popular vote. In 2017, the winner was a circle. The following semester that I taught the course, this was the winner. And in fall 2018, a great mixture of ray tracing and fractals. I recommend that you try to create something completely new. The semester after the circle won, there were many circles entered, but none of them won. And I cannot possibly predict what wonderful things you'll come up with or what your fellow students will like. But the point of the Recursive Art Contest is not to win, it's to participate and create art. And remember, participating is completely optional. And enough scheme art, let's move back into talking about SQL.